So, what'd you do last night? Oh. Bill and I had tantric sex. No, I mean for dinner. You said you weren't sure. Oh, yeah. I went with the pork chops. Yeah, two days past expiration, but, you know, still good. Yeah. As long as they're not slimy, that's my motto. So, what's tantric sex? What's that, like, voodoo or something? No. It's like, uh, you know, non-sex. I mean sex. Without the sex. I mean, there, there's a whole sexual thing going on, you know, but you don't actually do anything. You, you, it's all about withholding the orgasm. Why would you want to do that? I mean, not for nothing, but whenever I see an orgasm coming my way, I weave it right in. <laughs> Right? No way I'm letting that baby go by without a fight. But if you wait, it's supposed to increase the pleasure a hundred times over. Does it? Oh, we never got that far. Bill had one of his back spasms. Jeez, he uses that excuse a lot, doesn't he? Yeah. But it was still pretty intense. Because you know? you're using your sexual energy in its purest form. You sit on the bed and you focus on each other. But you don't touch. You just experience. I experience his energy and he experiences mine. But without any of the physical body stuff getting in the way. You know, it's all very ethereal and elevated. Yeah. But, but you are naked, right? Well, you don't have to be, but we were. And you're sitting, what, like cross-legged? Yeah. Ugh, oh, see, I don't see the attraction. Well, you know, no offense. Not Joanna, but you're all into appearances. This is about the mating of souls. It's the object is to wake up your Shoshona so that your Kundalini starts to rise. <laughs> Where did you see this on Oprah? No, it's an old Hindu thing. You know, like chakras and Shiva and stuff. God, you know, I have the book upstairs. You know, and when you, oh, and when you, even when you get out to the next stage, when you actually, you know, and get together and interlock, there's still no friction. It's called a static embrace. You don't move, you don't respond, you just stay perfectly still. What if you have to sneeze? Well, if you're doing it right, you shouldn't have to sneeze. Anyway, I found it very exciting. God, yeah, you know, it gave me a whole new perspective. Mm. Yeah, and the interesting thing was, I was just as sweaty afterwards, so something was definitely happening. <laughs> You know, mm -hmm. I was in a similar situation myself. Oh, bullshit. <laughs> what? Yeah, you do this all the time, Joanna. No matter what bizarre, deranged story I tell you, you've always had a similar situation. You know, you're so fucking competitive. Oh, no. Uh, listen. Wait, I was with this married guy, right? Mm. And we were in bed, mm -hmm. right? And fully engrossed, so to speak. Suddenly his wife comes <gasps> home. Right? Yeah, so he says, don't move. Right? So I don't. I just lay there, you know, and he's on top of me, and, and all parts are engaged, but we have to just totally lay really still and quiet because she's right there and she might hear us. I mean, she's in the same room as you? Yes! Yeah, but she had had a stroke or something, so she had no peripheral vision. Uh, you know, like that, um, that T-Rex in Jurassic Park, you know? Oh! So we had to wait there till she was finished doing whatever she was doing, picking up pair of earrings or something took fucking forever. Anyway, she leaves, right, and here's the thing. As soon as she goes, he picks up right where he left off. A boom, a boom, right? Stayed rocket hard that whole time. And that is when I realized he didn't love me at all. It was just the Viagra talking. Huh. Well, how old of a guy was he? He was old. Huh. But he worked out a lot. Uh -huh. Well, you better not let Peter find out. This was before I was married. What do you think I am, a slut? Well, even so. No, I don't see the similarity at all. <laughs> I mean, I am talking about something pure and religious in nature, and you're talking about Viagra? Hey, we all find God in our own way, okay? But from where I'm sitting, if you think that you could have sex without moving, you're putting your money on the wrong horse. Well, see, that's the whole point, Joanna. Uh, this goes beyond sex. This is about oneness. It's about the marriage in its ultimate sense. I mean, if when you, 
When you just jump into bed and go at it without rhyme or reason, you are negating the opportunity for true intimacy. Now, you've got to step back in order to get closer. See, it's like the old saying, you, you, you can't see the forest for the trees. What does that mean? Right? The forest is the trees, right? <laughs> These old sayings, they're all so full of shit. Like, let them eat cake? Never made sense to me. Why shouldn't they eat cake? See, this is why you could benefit from meditation. You like focus. Maybe I don't want focus. <sighs> to each his own. Anyway, we went with pork chops, chicken bake, and applesauce, and bird's eye vegetable medley. Mm. Sounds good. It was. Oh, and cornbread too. Well-rounded meal. Alright, okay, so can this tantric thing work for any situation? What do you mean? Well, for instance, you and me. Right, could we just sit here and stare at each other and share our sexual energy? No. Why not? Well, because we don't have that kind of relationship. I mean, no, besides, this is a male-female thing. The male receives the female energy, and then the female receives the male energy. See, that's how it works. So, lesbians can't have tantric sex. Well, we're not lesbians. Yeah, but suppose we were. Well, I don't want to suppose. Well, you know, why are you even going there? You know, you just give me the creeps. I'm just saying that I don't think much of a religion that doesn't even let its lesbians have sex. Okay, that seems pretty small-minded to me. If you want to be so fucking transcendent, you might want to be a little more inclusive. Well, I'm not promoting Hindu. It's far from it. You know, to me, a cow's a cow. But I am saying that some of their sexual practices are pretty interesting. You don't want to throw the baby out with the bathwater. I guess I can go along with that. Hey, so, you know, I might try that tonight. Pork chops. Oh. oh, I have plenty of applesauce left. Mm.